Hello there. Good afternoon. We meet again for a video lecture on machine tool and machining. This is Shomitra Pal. This particular subject, machine tool and machining, is a third year compulsory subject for the students of mechanical engineering, manufacturing science and engineering, and industrial systems engineering. This is being taught in four different sections. Students of all the four sections are asked to go through these video series. This will enable you to achieve your learning objective for the subject machine tool and machining. Today we are going to revisit a numerical problem on kinematics of central lathe. The numerical problem that we are going to discuss, we haven't discussed earlier. We are revisiting the kinematics of the central lathe. Before going into the numerical problem, we will like to talk, to talk about the kinematic diagram or kinematic chain of a central lathe. We will do that by modular representation. So instead of using the full detailed diagram, we will be doing it by modular representation. Full detailed diagram is already available in your class notes, so you can refer to them if you are not able to follow it. So what do you, do you have as the first element? First element is the motor, the main motor of the center lip. That is connected to the speed gear box via the belt pulley arrangement. So belt pulley arrangement would typically increase the speed or reduce the speed depending on the speed output some from the speed gear box. Say for example, you have a 11 kilowatt motor with 1440 rpm speed and here you may have a transmission ratio of 3 by 2. So in that particular case uh, the input speed would be higher than 1440 it would be 50 percent higher. From the speed gear box the output is fed to the main spindle. So this is the representation of the chart. This is the main spindle. Here the workpiece would be mounted. If it is a disc type workpiece, tail stock support would not be required. If it is a long workpiece, tail stock support would be required. On the rear side of the speed gear box, on the same spindle as the main spindle, we take out the rotational speed and the power and that is fed to the first element of the feed gear box which is change gear quadrant. So, if my main spindle for some reason is rotating at 400 rpm, this shaft is also rotating at 400 rpm because it is the same shaft and that is connected to the change gear quadrant. From the change gear quadrant, motion and power is fed to the Norton tumbler drive. The output of the Norton tumbler drive is fed to the meander drive. These three elements put together quite often are called feed gear box. In some discourse or in some of the uh, books, this is only called as the feed gear box and the speed change, uh, change gear quadrant stays outside. In practice, change gear quadrant is outside the feed gear box, but this is these are the three elements which act to convert the rotational speed of the main spindle as the feed, uh, it, it, it basically acts as the converting the main spindle rotational speed into feed. So where from the uh, meander drive output goes? Meander drive output goes into two elements. It goes to feed, feed rod and it also goes to speed lead screw. Quite often, you have a small pair of gears between the feed, feed rod and the lead screw and quite often, their transmission ratio is 1. If the transmission ratio is not 1, you have to calculate that. Feed rod and lead screw, the output of both of them, they en enter the apron box. An apron box would have three outputs. What are they? Apron box would be responsible for automatic longitudinal feed, it would be responsible for automatic cross feed and it would also be responsible for thread cutting. Now for longitudinal feed, the mechanism is rack and pinion arrangement, rack is on the 
on the side of the lathe, on the side of the lathe bed and pinion is mounted on the apron box. So because of this rack pinion arrangement, you will get longitudinal feed. For cross feed, it is a screw nut mechanism. There is a small lead screw, uh, which quite often is not called a lead screw. It is simply called a screw, cross feed screw. And we get uh, feed, cross feed because of the screw nut mechanism. For thread cutting, you have the main lead screw and the half nut mechanism that provides you with the thread cutting. Now, this longitudinal feed, this This longitudinal feed would be, let me change the color, I can't see this color very easily. So maybe let us take this. The longitudinal feed is uh, responsible uh, or longitudinal feed we get because of rack and pinion arrangement and rack and pinion arrangement the characteristics are the module of the pinion or the rack and number of teeth on the uh, pinion. They will decide what would be the feed, longitudinal feed. As far as cross feed is concerned, it is the pitch and for thread cutting, it is the pitch. For all three of them, the rotational speed of the respective shafts, it is very important, rotational speed of the respective shafts would determine the feed rate. Now let us look at the numerical problem. So what is the numerical problem? In a center lathe, the spindle speed is given as 120 rpm. So this is the main spindle speed. This is the main spindle speed. This is the main spindle that is having a rpm of 120 pi. Pinion responsible for longitudinal feed has 12, 16 teeth and a module of 15. So this module is 1.5 and number of teeth is 16. This is the module and number of pin for the longitudinal feed pinion. This particular shaft is rotating as 1.5, not 1.5, 0 0.5 rpm. So this is rotating at 0 0.5 rpm. There is no other information available. This particular is rotating at 120 pi rpm and this particular uh, shaft is rotating at 0 0.5 rpm. Nothing has been mentioned regarding the change gear quadrant, not on drive, we under drive. What you have been asked to determine? You have been asked to determine the feed rate in meter per minute, mini millimeter per minute and feed in millimeter per revolution. So how to go about it? You might be thinking how can we solve this problem when nothing is mentioned about change gear quadrant, not on quadrant not on drive or meander drive. Nothing has been mentioned about apron box. That means the apron constant is not mentioned. Despite that, how to solve this problem? So this is the data which we have extracted from the given uh, problem statement that has already been shown in the graphics. And this is the way you can find out ASM, which is the feed rate. So this is the way you can calculate the feed rate. How do you do that? Pi mz. This is the pitch circle circumference of the pinion and how many times it is rotating per minute, np. This is not the spindle speed, main spindle speed of 120 rpm. This is not that. What is that? This is 0 0.5 rpm. So that gives you a rotational, uh, that gives you a feed rate or velocity with which the feed is executed as 12 pi meter millimeter per minute or 37.7 millimeter per minute. How to calculate the feed? Feed is calculated as the distance traveled by the cutting tool per revolution of the job. Where is the job mounted? Job is mounted on the main spindle. So what is the rotational speed of the main spindle? 120 pi. What was the feed rate? 12 pi. So the ratio will give you a feed of 0 0.1 millimeter per revolution. This is our first problem. In this first problem, what we have solved? We have solved or we have calculated the longitudinal feed rate and feed for a given data. Initially, the problem looks a bit dodgy in the sense 
because nothing has been mentioned about the change gear quadrant, not on Trumler drive, meander drive or for that matter nothing is mentioned uh, about the information regarding the apron box. Now let us have a look at the next problem. Next problem it is the spindle speed at the center lathe is 120 rpm, 200 rpm. Pitch of the lead screw responsible for the cross feed is 4 millimeter. It is rotating at 5 rpm. Determine feed rate and uh, feed in millimeter per revolution. This is not longitudinal feed. Earlier one was longitudinal feed. This is not longitudinal feed. This is cross or transverse feed. Please look at it is given the lead screw responsible for cross feed is each of the lead screw responsible for cross feed is 4 millimeter. Let us solve the problem. Once again this was discussed. This is rotating at 200 rpm. Pitch of this one is 4 millimeter and this one is rotating at 5 rpm. Okay, so how to calculate the procedure would be same. This is the pitch and the rotational speed is not 0.5, it is 5 rpm. This is wrong, it is wrongly stated in this. So, feed rate would be as because it is screw nut mechanism pitch into the rotational speed of the lead screw. So, responsible number is 5, 5 is the rotational speed, so it is 20 millimeter per minute. Now, how we calculate uh, the feed? Feed is feed rate divided by the spindle speed. The spindle is rotating as 200 rpm. So, let us cancel this. This is wrong data. This is 200. So, this calculation would also be wrong. This will come out to be once again 0 0.1 millimeter per revolution. Here also if you recall there was no information given about the change gear quadrant, not on tumbler, meander. These are not required because the information which was required was given. What was the rotational speed of the cross feed lead screw or the lead screw responsible for cross or transverse feed as because that was given and the pitch was given the feed rate could be calculated as 20 millimeter per minute and then feed can be calculated as 0 0.1 millimeter per revolution. Thank you once again for your time. If you like the video, please subscribe and press the bell icon. It is very important for our student to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Then you will get to get the information the moment the video is uploaded in the channel. Other viewers, if you like our videos and presentation, Please like the video, share it and please subscribe and press the bell icon. Once again, thank you for your time and stay safe.